Who's ready for Hoenn? Hey guys, it's Rockets Right you back with my Hoenn collection binder. And I don't have the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire yet. I'm waiting to get my job back in a couple weeks. So I'm going with the original Emerald version and my very old Nintendo DS for the sound. Just starting off here with Trico. So how many of you have already gotten Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire? And which started did you choose? When I get, I'm going to get uh, Alpha Sapphire and when I do, I'm going to choose the Meg Kip. Everyone likes the Meg Kips. But um, I'm currently watching Shady Penguin play uh, his Alpha Sapphire and oh my god, the graphics are just amazing. Game Freak has come a long way with the Nintendo games, or not the Nintendo, the Pokemon games, sorry. Small reverse rare. Sorry about the sniffling, change of weathers, and there is some snow on the ground, but otherwise it's just really cold. I don't know if you're familiar, but I live close to uh, the Mount Snow Resort in Dover, Vermont. And the same thing as in my Kanto and Johto collection binders, the uh, little check marks and numbers that you see on the pages were from my childhood. I keep most of my stuff well preserved, but yeah, just ignore all the scribbles and check marks that you see on the pages. Personally, this is my favorite Del Caddy Hollow. I just put this one first because I love the background on it. The transition from green to blue. Oh, Agron, Team Magma versus Team Aqua. Some of the old school artworks I just really, really adore. Like, this Minin, the plus one Minin in this set, actually, um, when you put the plus have the plus 
the mining is doing the same pose from behind and the puzzle is doing the same pose in its picture. I don't have the puzzle anymore because I received it and it was incredibly beat up. So I just decided not to have it since I'm not collecting every card from each set. That was the reverse Team Plasma Sharpedo. I have that in a separate binder for my Plasma Reverse Hollow Collection. If I'm going too fast for you, feel pr free to pause the video, just look at what the cards do, if it's not incredibly blurry. I have just a, I'm just using the camera from my iPod 5th generation, but it really does work well. And that tapping is my cat trying to get out. I have a latched door handle. It's the only flygon that I have. The uh, hollow from uh, um, Rising Rivals. I'm sorry about that. She just really wants to get out. But I have no idea how to merge my videos so you're just gonna have to deal with her making the noise getting down to the nitty gritty here more than halfway done about a third more to go Scrawdon is a uh, hollow from the EX Dragon series. Might send that Crawdon to uh, Skull Shirtable TCG, but I'm still waiting to see how much posters will cost, and when I get the money, I'll ask him to do a FCBM. And I will send that with him. Absol Prime. Normally I would have it in my uh, ultra rare collection, but I don't have any regular Absol that's. Uh, what should I say? That's not a ultra rare card. Get to the Glalie. I love the reverse hollow effect on this Glalie. And that's a reverse plasma glalie. Again, it's in a separate binder.
Same with the uh, Latios and Kyogre EX. The Kyogre is a promo, and the Latios is from Pop7. But I don't have any of the normal rares or hollows that are in a set, so these are kind of a substitute for now. Glad to get that Rayquaza. Because I used to have one from my childhood, but a bunch of cards were stolen from me one day in school. Mm. What I get for bringing all my cards. Uh, Cree Daily from Sandstorm. Metagross and Rayquaza are from Pop 1. And these are just extras that I haven't sorted and put in to their rightful places because uh, it it really takes a long time especially for my uh, Kanto binder oh boy well that's it for my whole collection I hope you all enjoy this video and stay tuned for my Sinnoh collection and Keep up that hype for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and stay tuned. Bye.